Hello, welcome to our vlog. We're gonna put a TV in Shirley's room, so uh, maybe she'll hang out here more instead of uh, like sleeping in my room all the time and kicking me and making sure that I don't get to sleep at night when she gets mad. But uh, first I gotta find a way to get the phone so you guys can Maybe you see what I'm doing. Maybe like that right there. Because I think we're going to... So this is the bed right here. Shirley's bed. And then this is the little TV right here. See? It's like a, just a tiny TV. And then I bought this little kit. It's like 10 bucks. It's like a... No, no. It's just like you put it on your wall and then put some screws in the back of the TV. And then you click it on there. All right, well, here it goes. So I'm going to try to make it so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I can see myself. So I imagine you guys can probably see me too. All right, so this piece right here, it's like a rectangle. It's got holes in it that mount into the TV. And we can look at the directions really quick. I think it's pretty simple, but... We'll see. So, um, hello, welcome to our vlog. We're going to put a TV in Shirley's room, so, uh, maybe she'll hang out here more instead of uh like sleeping in my room all the time and kicking me and making sure that i don't get to sleep at night when she gets mad but uh first i gotta find a way to get the phone so you guys can maybe see what i'm doing maybe like that right there because i think we're gonna so this is the bed right here Shirley's bed, and then this is the little TV right here. See? It's like a, just a tiny TV. And then I bought this little kit. It's like 10 bucks. It's like a, no, no. It's just like you put it on your wall and then put some screws in the back of the TV and then you click it on there. All right. Well, here it goes. So I'm going to try to make it so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I can see myself. So I imagine you guys can probably see me too. All right, so this piece right here, it's like a rectangle. It's got holes in it that mount into the TV. And we can look at the directions really quick. I think it's pretty simple, but we'll see. So... Um, So what part goes on the wall and what part goes on the TV, dude? All right, so it looks like that rectangle piece goes on the wall. And then so these two little pieces of u-channel go on the tv and then to release it you pull that so you mount these on your tv and then imagine this goes down and then when you want to release whoa my phone's almost dead hold on all right so then you pull this when you want it to release i don't know abby i can't see you dude I'm up here, dude. I'm making a video. Hang this now. No, dude. That's a right angle, girl. Oh. I just need a screwdriver. Like, and then the red one that's in Milwaukee. Like an one? Oh, a little regular one and an electric one. Huh? You're not going to find it up here, dude. They're not in the garage. They are in the garage, Abby. Why? 
They are in the garage. Go look, dude. Hurry up. I'm making a movie. Well, whatever. All right. I'm going to pause this so because my daughter can't do anything. On All mind. right. I'm back. Looks like I got the tools I need now. I got a cordless impact and a screwdriver and a wrench. So now we're going to put the screws that hold the two U channel brackets with the quick release onto the back of the TV monitor to hold it when we click it all together. I didn't really read the directions very good. I just kind of like looked at the pictures really quick because uh, I don't know. It's kind of seems like it's pretty simple and. Hopefully I'm right. We'll find out if it, if I'm wrong, we'll have to start all over again. But I feel like I'm probably right. So looks like we need a quarter 20 screw. Yeah, maybe a number eight, I think. So it looks like these little screws right here are really nice. So there's four of these and there's four holes, so. Sounds like a winner, right? Then we'll put some washers on there so it doesn't fall off and hit Shirley. Then I'll be in big trouble if the TV falls off and hits a kid. It'll all be my fault, and, you know. So all right, so we just got a Phillips screw and then it's a number two tip, number two Phillips. I'm just gonna. Put it in there like so, and then it's got holes in the monitor that you screw right into. And actually, it seems like these uh, screws that I thought would work, the number 12s or the number 8s are looking too big, dude. So they got some smaller screws in here. It looks like these might be the ones. It looks like all TVs must be different because they give you quite a variety of these four packs of screws. This is like a super tiny TV. It's like a, I don't know, like 19 inches or something. It's really little. It's good for a kid, you know. So, all right. So this screw is threading into the hole in the back of the TV. So this should work. Hole in the back of the T. So this should work. So I'm just going to hand tighten these. So, you know. It actually, it didn't really like, kind of bottomed out the screw. So there's a little play in there, but it's not gonna really fall out or anything. Cause the TV is gonna weight it down. I guess you could like put some more washers on there. If you were worried about, if you felt like the TV, like maybe on a bigger TV, but this TV is super little. And then this one, like the rib nuts that you screw into, it's kind of like off. Then I try to stick my screwdriver in there and line it up a little bit and see if that helps so we can get the screw started. And unfortunately, dude. Maybe if I grab the right screw, that helps. So again, let's just count to make sure that I have this in the same place so the TV's not crooked. I'm gonna hang it up on the wall because there's multiple. What are you doing, dude? Are you a monkey? Yeah, she is. 
I thought you had something more important to do with an arm where you couldn't find the screw it. gun. Dude, it took me like two seconds to find it. Where are you gonna put it at? I don't know. Go ask mom if she wants it. I think above the closet right there. She can just go around as we can. We'll just go ask, dude. You're a girl. You can go in there. If I go in there, she might hit me. I was right, uh. Like at the top of the closet in the middle. I was right, dude. It's like directly from the bed. How tall are you, Charlie? She's pretty tall, dude. Short. Well, she's like four. I'm taller. Even though I'm nine years older than her, I still have four. She's five. <laughs> What's up, Jeep? <laughs> You want to go and do what? It's going to rain, dude. Yeah, let's look outside. Let's look outside. All right, so now we're going to install the bracket up there above the closet. And it's really cool, dude. It comes with like this little level you can put on it. You can just set it inside of there on the bracket while you're up there so you don't have to have a tape measure or anything to measure off the ceiling or grab a torpedo level to check it and see if it's level so i don't know like i'm just gonna kind of eyeball it you know when i get up there it's about six inches from the top of the tv to where it clicks into this bracket go here mom will make this for you <laughs> yeah. so uh Anyway, so I'm just gonna put this up there and just eyeball it. I'll probably put it, try to put it like seven inches down from the ceiling. So it's actually probably gonna, the TV might hang like a little bit here, but. Right. Just, I don't know, they can still get the clothes and stuff out of the closet. And uh, Abby's here with a chair. Yeah. So, all right, Abby, come here a minute and use your eyes. Oh, because I have really good eyes. Oh. All right, dude, hand me that uh, screw gun. Here, make sure it's really, I don't want this to fall in here. Where's that tape measure downstairs? Mom's getting it, I think. I think we can do it without it. What are you doing? No, you can't be in here, kid. Dude. We... <laughs> so this level thing, it's cool, but it's actually hard to like... Oh, cool. You can like... So it says that's level right there. And then uh, it looks like I'm probably gonna have to get lucky and probably get some more screws and try to hit a wood stud so the TV that 10 cent level that they sent. It says it's level. Right, here you go, dude. So I wonder where a stud is. Are you sh Dude, it doesn't look level, dude. Go grab that tape measure. Okay. Yeah, dude, it's not, it's not level, I don't think. I think it's like at least a quarter inch. Uh, remember you were measuring yourself with that really cheap tape measure? Abby? Yeah. Just bring it in here, dude. Come on. <laughs> wow, thanks, Shirley. Here, I'll get this first. All right, so according to the ceiling, so there we got, we got exactly six inches, and here we have 
six and an eight. But like I said before, I didn't like hit a stud, dude. So if I push up on it right there, I'm at six. So I'm gonna try to hopefully hit a stud with one of these other screws. Here, Abby, hand me that drill, that impactor. So there's hopefully there's a stud somewhere that we can hit so I feel better about this not falling. Hey, yeah, Beth, do we got any, remember those plugs we bought what plugs? for the walls when we hung that on Shirley's bed? You know that it feels pretty strong. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be all right. Yeah. Here, hold this. Hand me the TV, Is Abby. Your Abby, can you hand me the TV, please? Yeah. All right. So See now you I just. Just <laughs> excited. Yeah, I know it's cool. Yeah. So now you uh, here, oh, hold this. That's the old one. You take the TV and you line up the top of it, oh, it in there, and then you pull these. Two wow, straps you here. Oh, you got a rope? Oh, I think. Dude, that's so cool. Can I have a sticker on this? And then if you want to take it off, you just pull these down and pull the bottom out and push up. Mm -hmm. So that's how you hang a TV with a $10 mounting kit from Walmart. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys all have a safe, great Mother's Day, and we will talk to you later. Deuces.